the wood shed. The wood shed. Don't get your team took behind the wood shed. Hey, what it do? This your host, Diamond Duck, and I'm in the building. Let's go, Brownies. Hey, back for your review. This is the wood shed. We back for the review for week. Uh, let's see what week this is. This will be week 13 and 14. I know week 13, we didn't play so well. We lost to the Shitburg Steelers, and um, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? We already beat them one time, but we didn't play so fucking great. It's in the hill nor there, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of up and down all year, but you know what I'm saying? It, it was all right game, you know what I'm saying? It, I ain't going to harp on that, but we're going to move on into the, to the Cincinnati game where we picked up the win. Picked up the win against the Bengals, 27-19. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty. Like Han said, it was ugly, ugly, ugly. But those are the type of games that we definitely got to win, man, the ugly games. And um, that mean a lot, winning the ugly game. That It don't seem like much, but you know what I'm saying? The ugly game is what it takes for this franchise. The more we can win, excuse me, the more we can win ugly games and close games, that just build more more momentum going into the next year. And um, with that being said, man, we're going to get into the stats, man. It wasn't a, wasn't a great game stat-wise. I can't get my words out right, but stat-wise, it was not a great game. You know what I'm saying? Um, Baker Mayfield um, threw two interceptions. He only had 192 yards. Other than that, um, receivers, Odell had a couple catches. Um, Jarvis Landry had a few catches. I don't think nobody caught a touchdown. But other than that, defense played dismal. Uh, kind of let the running game get away from us on defense, you know what I'm saying? Joe Mixon kind of got loose a few times, uh. Got to think about this too. Andy Dalton was back. Much better quarterback. Much better quarterback. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a better Bengals team with a uh, starting quarterback. Once again, Nick Chubbs did his thing. The leading rusher in the NFL. Go Chubbs. Go Chubbs. Go Chubbs. And uh, Kareem Hunt, he did his thing. Um, I don't think the offensive line is bad as people think they are. I think we more of a running team than passing. I don't know why we throw the ball quite as much. But um, it seems like that we are a better running team. They're a better run block team. Or RPO. You know what I'm saying? I really think that's what we need to concentrate on. I think we ought to concentrate on the, on the, on the RPO which is running pass. See, like the offensive line play better when they're running. You know what I'm saying? The, the big big runs that um, Nick Chubb had and um, just the explosive of, of the offensive line, I think. It's just, I think it ought to be 60-40 more balanced towards the run. Uh, as far as playoff chances, we got a slim chance as long as we keep winning. I think we can... Um, we can have a slim chance at the end. But we, like you said, we got to go 1-0 and every week with these last three games. You know what I'm saying? This uh, Cardinals game going to be a really tough game for us on the road. Different times on different weather. Um, all that factors in, you know what I'm saying, as far as the team that, that's, that's traveling to another time zone. But if I think we can win out, once again, go back. Chubbs was 15 for 106, man. Kareem Hunt was 9 for 28 and a touchdown. And Baker Mayfield had the other touchdown. And Jarvis Landry had four catches for 76 yards. I really think, man, uh, like I said, I really think with this team, man, it's going to take another year. If we keep Odell for another year and get him healthy. I really think next year will really, really be a fucking breakout season for the Browns. I mean, just I just think this year, man, we just – Never got on the court together with the new players and some of the things going on behind the scenes that us the fans don't really know about. But um it's um it's been a decent year, man. We six and seven. 
it could be worse. I mean, y'all Browns fans, we all been Brown fans a long time. We done seen far freaking worse. So, I mean, you know, six and seven isn't great, but it ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? There's other teams out there, they won but one or two games. I just think, you know what I'm saying, we got to run the ball more. That's my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? I think they got to implement the run more and less pass. Put Baker on the center and kind of work out of a passing formation. I mean, out of run formation with the play action. I think the play action would be deadly for the Browns, man. As far as Odell, you know, bring a tight end in, get on the center, put both of the backs in, split backs. And just kind of work from there, man, like an old cross buck. You know what I'm saying? Anybody know anything about the cross buck? Just run off simple cross buck, man, off the play action. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be tremendously deadly for the Browns down the stretch. Or run it out of RPO if you're going to put him in the shotgun. But um, with the Odell Beckham situation, you know what I'm saying, finding out that he been hurt all season, you know, it kind of take away from his effectiveness. But I think we ought to get Odell one more try. One more off season, one more season to see how it go up to the trade deadline. If it ain't working by the trade deadline next season, I think you try to move him, but I think it's too early to move him now. You know, I made a post early in the week about do you think the team was better without Odell Beckham? And boy, did I get my head chewed off. I don't think we're better without Odell. I think he's been a model citizen, regardless of what's going on behind the scenes. That ain't for us to know. That's only for people that's in that league and people in the locker room. But as far as I've seen, he seemed like a role model citizen with the Browns. Besides a little blow up on the sideline in this Bengals game, it was, he'd been a role model citizen. But um, this the wood shit. This your host, Diamond Duck, man. I'm about to end this video. Like I say, like, subscribe, and share my videos, man. Go to my page. I got a page on, on Facebook, Diamond Duck Brown. Follow it. Follow me on YouTube. And uh, let's go Brownies, man. Let's try to win this thing out. Peace and love. Happy holidays. The Diamond Way. This has been a Diamond Duck promotion. Peace.